We pulled together some of the best uh, thinkers and authors and practitioners in the United States to contribute their thoughts on a range of issues from how do we help people with disabilities uh, get back in the workforce with very high rates of unemployment, uh, what do we do with the impact of technology on work and how people make the transition as robotics and AI might replace them or work with them. Uh, how do we improve services for the lowest income people who don't even have digital access? So it's a quite a broad range of topics, very ambitious, uh, but, in, but needed. And the Federal Reserve Bank uh, system uh, as a whole has stepped up because even though the top line number of unemployment uh, is low, meaning it's probably what we would economists would say f nearly full employment, less than 4%, the reality is underneath that, there's still millions of people who are working part-time but want a full-time job, who are long-term unemployed, who are contract workers, gig workers who really need a better job. And so it's really a challenge for the nation to address those continuing uh, issues in the labor market. I think that um, the most important thing we need to think about is the labor market in the 21st century, the first, you know, 20 years of the 21st century, is one that changes constantly, that people can be left out of a successful job just because of a merger and acquisition, let alone technological change. So folks are going to have to do a better job, and the country's going to have to do a better job of, supporting, of providing support for people as they make those transitions. A person that's been out of work for a long period of time in their 40s and 50s uh, has a long working life ahead of them, not just because they want to do it and it's good for their health and mental well-being, because they have to do it. Most Americans do not have a lot of money in the bank, they don't have a pension, they don't have savings, uh, and the social support networks are rather minimal for most people. Right, so even if you, that's one of the myths that people are sitting around collecting these checks that are, they're on easy street. Well, that, that's just not true. Uh, so people have to work, and if you're not interested in that, if they're not working, we have a smaller economy and everybody else is poor. So we need to have, we, we call it labor force participation, that's the term, of basically what percentage of people are in the labor market who are able-bodied and able to work, so it doesn't count people that are in college or graduate school or people that are raising children at home or taking care of a sick relative or whatever, that's fine. But if they're able-bodied, they, they should be working and most people really want to work.